Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 258 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey. Maybe you've been joining us since day one. Congratulations to you. Can't believe we're up to day 258. Oh, my goodness. Um, and if you've jumped on, at, on board at any point, um, thank you so much for joining us as well. It is such a privilege to do this journey with you. I love sharing my thoughts and reflections on these days daily devotions. I hope that you can share some of your thoughts and reflections as you're moving through the journey as well. I would love to hear what God is speaking to you about. So please comment below uh, if you'd like to share some of those thoughts and reflections. So the first thing that really spoke to me out of the passages of scripture for today um, was from Galatians chapter 2 and verse 7 to 9. It says, for on the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel to the circumcised, for he who worked through Peter for his apostolic ministry to the um, circumcised worked also through me to, uh, for mine to the Gentiles. And when James and Cephas and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given to me, they gave the right hand of fellowship to Barnabas and me that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. What I love about this passage of scripture is that, you know, they recognize the grace that was on Paul. They recognize that God has called him to this particular lane and they're like, go for it. We release you to run in that lane. And they were going to run in their lane and Paul was going to run in his own lane. And it just reminded me today that God will grace you for a particular lane. He will grace you for a particular ministry and call and purpose and it is our job to run in our own lane not to try and copy others not to go oh well they're doing it this way so maybe I should be doing it that way as well no we need to run in our own lane run in our own grace what has God graced you for how has God graced you for your ministry the task that God has called you to the calling and the purpose that God has for your life run in your lane today just like Paul did I love also um, this passage of scripture in Isaiah chapter 37, verse 14 to 20, it's about Hezekiah. It says, Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel enthroned above the cherubim, you are the God. You alone of all the kingdoms of the earth, you have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib which he has sent to mock the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore, they were destroyed. So now, O Lord, our God, save us from his hand that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone are the Lord. What I love about this passage of scripture is that Hezekiah is getting these threats from the enemy. The enemy's threat comes in a form of a letter. And so he's got this letter and he goes and he spreads it out before the Lord. He spreads it out before God and he puts the enemy's threats before God. And he says, God, look at these threats. God, I believe in faith that you are my defender. I believe that you're the Lord of all the earth, that you're the king of all kings. And he starts to pray in faith that God is greater than any of the enemy's threats that have come against him. It's a great encouragement to us today to just lay out any of the enemy's threats in our lives, any of the enemy's intimidations in our lives, lay it out before the Lord and start to pray a prayer of faith over those things, knowing that God can actually bring victory in those areas of your life. What I love about the remainder of this story is that God does bring the victory. God does hear Hezekiah's prayer. And even when they didn't really have the strength to win or have the victory, God comes through. God God is on their side. God fights for them because he heard the prayer of Hezekiah. So let's pray. Let's lay the enemy's threats out before God and pray prayers of faith in different circumstances in situations of our lives today. So I'd love to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray that we would run in our own lane when it comes to the ministry and the calling that God has for us. And I'd love to pray as well that we would just lay the threats of the enemy at the feet of Jesus today and we would pray in faith that God would intervene in those circumstances. So God, I just thank you for your presence today. I thank you, Holy Spirit. 
that you're here. I thank you that you're moving. I thank you, Lord, that you're speaking to us today. I thank you, Lord, just for this thought that um, Paul um, ran in his own lane. And so, God, I pray that you would help us to run in the lane that we have been graced for, Lord God. Not comparing ourselves with others, not trying to be anyone that we're not. But, God, I pray that we would fully um, embrace the grace that you have given us, Lord. Embrace that grace. And God, as we embrace that grace, God, I thank you that we will chase the things that you have for our lives. We would run after your calling for us. We would run in the lane that you have for us. And we would say, see great impact and great fruit um, come from being obedient to that. And God, I pray as well, just any of the enemy's threats in our lives today, would just be laid out before you, Lord God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that any intimidation, any lies of the enemy, we would just bring them before you. We would lay them out before you. And as we lay them out before you, God, I thank you that we would also pray in faith that you would intervene. Thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayers. Thank you, God, when we pray prayers of faith, God, you move upon our faith. You move upon our prayers. Just like you heard the prayer of Hezekiah and you moved to defend them, to give them the victory. God, I thank you that you can do the same in our lives today. So we just give you all the praise and we give you all the glory, God. We thank you for the victory in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend, for day 258 of our Bible reading plan. I'll catch you tomorrow for day 259. See you then. Bye.